our next video, we're going to be doing a tamarind chutney, and a lot of people ask, what is it that we need for that? Um, so we actually are here at the Asian store and wanted to show you exactly what you need. Um, most people grew up looking at or watching their mom make tamarind paste chutney from like a store-bought can at the Indian store, but we're going to go fresh today. Um, and so well, I wanted to make sure you knew what a whole tamarind looked like. So this is tamarind with seeds. We're not going to use that, but this is just something that you have a comparison to. So we actually found the aisle um, and I wanted to show you what you're looking for. So you're looking for a block of tamarind paste that's seedless and you can see that it is just an actual block. Um, and we're going to take this and make a chutney out of it that's used in a lot of Indian dishes. So let's go back to the kitchen. We found what we needed and let's make our chutney. And we're back from the store. Remember we had to go pick up the tamarind for our tamarind paste that we're going to make chutney out of. Um, so I wanted to make sure you guys got to see what we actually did with the tamarind paste once we took it out. But remember you want to make sure and buy the tamarind paste, the seedless block. Um, you can most likely find it at the Asian store. So most people use tamarind paste in um, some Indian dishes as well as um, some Thai cuisine dishes also use tamarind paste um, in the, as an ingredient. And so I always grew up remembering my mom saying, oh, we're gonna have tamarind chutney and I saw a bottle of apple butter. Um, and so that's how we would improvise uh, tamarind chutney because no one really could make it quickly. So um, I was perusing around some food bloggers that I like to read about and um, on Paint the Kitchen Red, she put a really easy um, recipe up there that inspired me to try it. Uh, and then what we're gonna do is build upon her recipe and kind of make our own little chutney out of it. So I wanted to make sure that you guys got to see that and see that it actually is really possible to make real tamarind chutney at home in your Instant Pot. So I went ahead and have already taken it out and cut it in cubes like you can see. And so it's gonna be a pretty quick and easy process now. So what you're gonna do is just dump the tamarind into the Instant Pot. Now remember, it's a little sticky um, and that's okay. And then we're gonna dump some water and remember all of our measurements and ingredients are always listed um, on our website that the link will take you to. And so you'll get to see all that in there. But we've basically put in water and we're def definitely going to now just close it once you have um, the tamarind in the water. We're now just going to close the Instapot and be on manual mode. And we're going to be on manual mode for 10 minutes. So just make sure when you close your lid, you're sealed and none of your steam is going to um, escape. So we're sealed and ready to go. And then we're going to go to manual mode and scroll down to 10 minutes. And... Then we'll get to our next few steps after that. So we'll let's wait the 10 minutes and we'll be done pretty shortly. And the timer has gone off and I came back after five minutes or so. Um, like I've said in other videos, it's okay if your timer comes off or goes off and you're not back in time of the timer. It's completely fine, nothing happened. So I was five minutes um, late to the timer. So what we're gonna do is release the steam from the Instant Pot and then we're gonna mash it with our masher and then we'll get back to the next step of straining. So we're just gonna open it up. So we've released all the steam and so what you're gonna now do is just open it up. And you can see that it's um, kind of, the water has kind of gone into the tamarind and it's more fluffy. And so what we're gonna do is use our masher and just mash it up as good, as best as you can. Okay, so we've gotten done with mashing it up and you'll f probably feel a few seeds in there while you're mashing it up. And so the next step is that you're gonna use um, your glove to take the pot the liner out of the Instant Pot and then we're gonna strain it to get all of the um, stringy pieces out as well as any leftover seeds that may be in there. So you don't have to use a very special strainer but just kind of be patient with this process. Use your spoon to get it through um, the strainer and you'll see that it'll come out smooth on the other end. Let me just take my glove off. And so what you can do is take your spoon and just twirl it and you can see that it's coming, the strainer will catch the hairs but it'll let the um, tamarind come through. So we'll kind of get this process done and then we'll show you what it looks like. 
when we're done. All right, so we caught, we got done straining it, um, and it does take a little bit of time to do that um, because the, the tamarind is tough and you've got to kind of squeeze it through the filter. Um, but you'll see that you'll have a little bit of thickness, like paste, and then also some liquid around it. Um, so what we're now going to do is get moving to our tamarind chutney. And the reason I'm going to make this today is because I have some guests coming over and I'm going to be making some sewusu and I really need tamarind chutney for it. So I thought it would be a really cool surprise for the guests to have fresh tamarind chutney with their sewusu. So um, it's a very simple process that you can add. Um, again, we were inspired by Paint the Kitchen Red to actually try this and we're going to be making it a little bit of a spin chutney so you'll see it's pretty easy. So you're gonna go through your ingredients, which are salt, red chili powder, as well as jeera or um, ground cumin. And so you're basically gonna dump this in there in the tamarind. And we're also gonna add some water, depending on what kind of consistency you like. Um, but we're gonna dump some water and stir it up real good. And if you're gonna store this in your fridge, sometimes it will get thicker, so when you're ready to use it, you can add a little bit more water um, to get it to the consistency you want for your dish. But like I said, you're gonna just play around with how much water you need to add dependent on how much chutney you're making. But this is about the right consistency that I like. Um, so again, you're gonna have some tanginess to this for a variation. You can also add some brown sugar to it if you want. Um, today I left mine because my um, tamarind was a little bit sweet, so I didn't add more sugar in mine. But if you have a more tart uh, tamarind or a sour one, you can add brown sugar or regular sugar or something called gore, um, which is also a type of raw sugar that you can add into this. So basically you're done with the chutney, but look how easy that was. We put it in the pressure cooker, we strained it, blended it up, got some um, seasonings in there, mixed it up, and you're ready to go. So I'm gonna store mine in a glass mason jar because I'm not using it today. Um, if you're gonna use it today, that's fine, but you can always store it in a glass jar in your fridge um, and have it ready to go. So I'm really excited to use this for my dish, but I hope you guys try this. I think your moms will love this idea that they can make it at home, take an adventure, go to the store, pick it up, buy your ingredients, uh, share your success by tagging us or um, posting it on Facebook on our, on our page. Um, but we really are thankful of you guys watching. Hope you enjoy the future videos that are coming out.